everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Has it been a hot minute? I thought I'd come back around here to this little nook of the internet and share with you some of my favorites. I'm so sorry I disappeared. I don't know what happened. I dropped the ball and when I dropped the ball, the ball is lost. But I found the ball so now I'm here. I know some of you have messaged me on Instagram and if you follow me over there, I'm a little bit more active on there as well as now Auntie Kiara is on the TikTok. Who am I? Not entirely sure. I try. I'm trying to keep up with the youth, but the youth are so snappy good with the editing and the vibes. But Auntie Kiara is just trying to keep up. So I thought I'd come back with a little bit of a favourite because I thought I haven't seen you guys in so long and it might be nice to talk about some beauty, skincare, some miscellaneous things, clothes, shoes and all the good stuff. So if you like that sort of content, don't forget to like and subscribe and join this little crazy nook of the internet because Kiara is back and this girl's going to be putting up one video at least a week. Let's see it. one video. Let's see if we can work ourselves up to two. How are we all? Please leave me a comment and leave me anything that you've been loving because remember on this nook of the internet, we like to share some of our favorites. Hey, ugh, where do I start? Basically, if you have been to my nook of the internet, my hairstyles are a little bit different. I am trying to not use my straighteners. So I am just blow drying my hair and just letting it do its thing because I had a lot of hair breakage and hair loss um, due to medical things, but that's all boring. But I wanted to share some hair stuff that I have been loving. I wanted to share with you one hair thing that has changed my hair life, which is the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Supernatural, she is. This is magical. This is some hocus pocus stuff. There has been some bibbidi bobbidi boot in this bottle. Now, I've had this before. I would just spray a little bit and I was just like, what is this? This is not doing anything for the girl. On the TikTok, one of Kim, Kar uh, Kim Kardashian's hairdresser, I saw an ad pop up basically. What you're supposed to do is when your hair is relatively damp, you are meant to drench your hair. Now, he sections it up. I don't do that. I'm too lazy for that. I would just drench my hair in this stuff and just blow dry my hair or just, when I say blow dry, I just do this. This is my level of zzz. And then I do the fronts of my hair. And I promise you, she stays calm. She doesn't frizz up. There's no Monica from Friends. So girls, if you've got curly hair and especially in the summertime, she is gonna be a lifesaver. Recommend. Now nails, your girl likes to get her nails done. During the pandemic, I was doing them myself, but now it is the decadence that I go out to get done. But something that helps me keep my manicure intact for longer is this Dior apricot oil. It's in French, let's not butcher the French language, it's too beautiful. But basically it's got a little brush, you squeeze out something and then massage it in. I have one in my handbag, I have one by my bed, and I use it and it is honestly amazing. It's quite affordable for a dual product and it is really, really good. A little manicure going on for longer. We are getting the extension of usage of a manicure. I could have worded that better. A body product. There are two body products I need to share, so let me just start off with this, which is the Clarins Tonic Treatment Oil. When I come out of the shower, I drench myself in this stuff and it keeps my skin supple, smooth, well, smooth is dependable on whether I have hair removed, but we are supple, glorious and youthful. My skin needs to stay youthful. I'm getting older, so this is really helping. I 100% recommend this. Is there a scent? I know people are into it. There is kind of a spa smell expensive spa. She bougie. She's good. I 100% recommend. I have really sensitive skin. This has not upset my skin. But again, I'm no expert. I'm just a girl sharing some of my favorites with you guys. For a really great high street boots, super drug sort of find. A, it says a QVC. I was going to call it QVC. It's basically a vitamin C, but in a little cream. This stuff why are we sleeping on this stuff? Honestly, guys, this is the best, one of the best moisturizers I've used. I have really sensitive skin and I usually use Aveeno. You guys have seen me talk about it. But this hasn't aggravated my eczema or anything like that. It keeps my skin 
really hydrated for longer. I don't feel the urge to moisturize too much. I highly, highly recommend. And I also have the hand cream in my handbag and I love it. Highly recommend this one. Let me finish off with my body care. And this is the Necessaire Body Serum. Why do we need a serum for our body? I'm not entirely sure. But the brand came out and I had to try it. I love the concept that it is basically skincare for your body. We do so much for our face. Why are we not taking the same sort of care for our body? So I got the Hydrating Hyaluronic Serum. I love it. I pop it on and I use my like body gua sha on my shoulders to release the tension. She's good. I love her. So I use her around here, around here. You know, we've got to stay young, smooth, supple. Embracing the young vibes, you know, with this. We're trying to age gracefully. Trying to age gracefully. Talk about aging gracefully. This is a facial tool. I just love, I love her, she's so good. Basically, I'm not gonna do this because I've got makeup, but basically you do this, and she just boosts the collagen. If you grind your teeth like I do, she also helps massage out the knots in my face. I love her. And also you could use this little paddle to just pat, 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 and boost some little blood into your face. This is a little Sarah Chapman tool, and I love it, love you. Um, skincare for the face, and beauty bits that I've been loving. You know, I have to talk about this. I've still been loving the La Mer treatment oil. I feel like this is a real unsung hero of theirs. It is essentially something you put on your face before you put on your serum. So I would spray myself with my hyaluronic toner and then I put this on and put my serum on. Once I put this on, it sinks into my skin and helps essentially, it essentially helps my serum just absorb into my skin and keeps my skin hydrated for so much longer. I love this in the winter, I love this in the summer. It literally dries down to nothing. You want it to do by whatever serum you put on top. And talking about a serum, I brought back an old favorite. She is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I don't know why I stopped using her. She is gorgeous. She just is helping my skin in so many ways. I also use her in the daytime. I don't know if that is breaking any laws, but I just love it. It's not scented. It just goes into your skin. It helps even out a lot of things. I love this. I don't know why I ever stopped using this. Now she is back. Do I need to get a bigger bottle? Do they, does it come in a bigger bottle? Let me know. Tatcha is in the UK, guys. Tatcha is in the UK. I remember getting this from the States ages ago, loving it. And then obviously trying to get it down to the UK was a real ball ache. Can I say ball ache? This spray should come with a little hazard. Apply too much, you look like glazed donut. But do I care? No, because I want to be glistening to the gods. I want people to walk past me and think, is she a goddess? But probably what they're actually thinking is, that girl looks like a glazed donut. Someone give her a little mattifying powder. But you know what? I don't care. Sula forehead version of a Sula would be a Fula. I love it. She makes me feel glowy. She's great. I love her. But as I said, spray with caution because sometimes disco ball, faceted, fabulous. The rich auntie of creams. The rich auntie of creams. This is the Augustina Spader. Augustina Spader. I don't know how you pronounce it, but your girl loves it. She's good. Mm, she is my treat. It, in the summer, I don't use her in the daytime because sometimes I feel like it's a bit too much for my skin, but I use her at night because Auntie Kara wants to wake up feeling glorious, fabulous, youthful, supple. It's my favorite words, supple. Here are just four beauty bits, just four. I am not exactly a makeup person per se. At once I love something, I just love it, I use it, and I very rarely mix things up. This was something I added in to mix things up, which is the Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer by Giorgio Armani in the color five. By the way, everything will be linked below. This is, okay, full disclosure, can you see? It's not like a full pop of pink on my skin. She is very, very sheer, but she gives this slight rosy glow. I'm just looking in the mirror. You can see like a slight rosy glow. And I love that, because as much as I love a blush, it's just sometimes a bit too much. But I love this. I've been loving this, especially for this warmer months. It's really lovely and it just adds a little bit of color, which I love, but highly, highly recommend. And there's a golden one I have too. Let me get that. I've got it in the number 10. This is great for going out. You know, when you're feeling sassy, glowy, J-Lo vibes. 
favorite of mine is this Charlotte Tilbury new bronzer. Gosh, I need to not check my nails. God, this is also huge. This is a really interesting product. Woo! She is so big, she can cover my face. I got it in the color medium, which works well for me. It's not too orange, it's not too brown, if that makes any sense. I really love this. It is an interesting texture. It is kind of like a liquid, but she dries down matte. She blends in really easily and gives you a glow. And it'll also last you till the next millennium. Honestly, I don't know what is in this stuff, but she keeps my eyebrows up, perked, and standing to attention. Like, if the eyebrows were in an army, my eyebrows will be doing really well because they're up and saluting you. I cannot recommend this stuff enough. It has a little brush like this, fabulous, fabulous. We rub her in. And then, to really cement it, is this little brush. And then we go... <laughs> Honestly, couldn't recommend this in the pig alley which I love. It's a great little brownie nude, which I've got on now. And I pop it on with a lip gloss, which is a Bare Minerals one. Let me just get the name for you, just in case anyone cares. Sincerity. Fabulous. I'm gonna add in a couple of wellness bits, because you know what? Whilst Aunt Kira has been away, she is trying to get it wellness-wise. Aunt Kira can't sleep. She can't sleep, I have bad sleep, I complain about aches and pains. This. The Nuco. The Nuco. This stuff is magic. I spray it all over myself. This Magnesium Ease helps me sleep. I don't know what sorcery is in it, but I sleep so well when I use it. And when I don't use it, I do notice a difference. So I highly, anyone who can't sleep, get yourself a bottle of this. I promise you it will change your life. I have to share with you. So I have medicines and all sorts of supplements, which I'm not going to get into because I'm not a doctor and I don't want to recommend things. I recommended me an arson full of supplements. So I thought the funnest way to do it is to have a little medicine holder. I call this my medicine maracas, which is in the shape of a flower, which I just noticed. I shake this at my dad a lot and he's just like, welcome to my world. I appreciate it. I love it. I just thought it's a fun thing to show you. Thinking about wellness. Again, this is just me trying something new that I liked and I want to share. This is Dose & Co. And it is the little... This one's dairy, but you can get dairy-free. I didn't realize this was dairy because it, your girl doesn't really have dairy. Not for any other reason, but I just have oat milk. But anyway, it's here. I've got it. I'm not going to waste it. And it is vanilla flavored. It's a creamer. I pop it into my milk when I make my matcha or coffee in the morning. And it's apparently good for the collagen. Now, I've only been using it for a week and a bit. And I have been loving it. It doesn't add any sort of weird taste. It tastes lovely. It thickens up the cream really... Uh, the cream? It creamies up. It... Bleh. It makes the milk really nice and creamy and just quite lovely and really enjoyable to drink. So I highly recommend it. So now tell me, is my face youthful? Do I feel plump? I don't know yet. We'll see. I'll let you know. On to some fashion bits that I've been loving. I have been loving this sort of shirt. Now, you re if you've been on the internet, you remember last year they had the cream version. I had to buy it in brown. I love this shirt. This shirt is just my vibe. When it comes to summer, I love a summer dad on holiday shirt. I think her Hawaiian shirt was chic. So she falls into the category. And I'm going to do a little bit of an edit either on my Instagram or over on my blog with a whole bunch of these like dad on holiday vibe shirts. Because I think they're just a really easy way to get that summer vibe, but also look put together because this could be a really nice evening shirt for nighttime. Oh, shirts. One of my favorite brands is with nothing underneath. If you've been on my look at the internet, you have seen me styling up a whole bunch of these. I have this one, which is a linen one in red. I have a yellow one. I have a stripy poplin one. I have a white shirt. That's just a normal white cotton shirt. I love with nothing underneath shirts. They're a bit on the pricier side, um, but I have to say that when it comes to buying basics like this, you will wear them all the time. I'm saying this holding a red shirt. I understand a red might not be for everyone, but you have they do them in a plethora of colors, and I mean a plethora. You can get anything you need. So I highly recommend them. They also have a store now on Elizabeth Street, and I just love them. I love with nothing underneath. I have a whole. I have so many shirts from them, and I cannot recommend them enough because once you buy one of the shirts. You don't really need to buy it again, except I keep buying shirts because I love a shirt more than a t-shirt. I love a shirt. There are two pairs of shoes that I have to tell everyone about. Firstly, Birkenstock Bostons. Are these called the Bostons? The Birkenstock 
mules clogs i love them so i have the fluffy ones i need to buy a not fluffy version because it's now getting a bit ridiculous to wear them in the summer i much they have been amazing i just love them also guys when you don't have your nails done and you haven't had a pedicure you it doesn't matter you can wear your summer sandals and your jutsies don't have to be out so i love them and they're so comfortable I'm, I'm ordering them as soon as i finish filming this i need to order that and a new phone case you didn't need to know that but i just thought i'd tell you because we're friends and then the Hermes Kipra Chipra Chipra sandals. I these ones are like the sling backy ones, which I don't know what they're called if they had a special name. But I had an SA offer them to me, and I took them so fast because they're so much cheaper than the Chanel ones, and I just love them. I love the sleekness of it all. It's my dad sandal. I love a dad sandal. Lastly, this handbag or this brand in general, which is Dragon Diffusion. This is just the perfect basket bag, in my opinion. It is leather, it is squishy, and it will last you forever because it's not raffia. Their bags are just so beautifully made. It makes any outfit look really chic. There's no big branding or anything like that, so it'll never go out of style because there's a lot of, you know, the Chanel Sicilians. I love them, don't get me wrong. I have like a Balenciaga city styled basket bag that I love but this to me is just I can wear it now or when I'm 60 do you know what I mean it's just it's gonna last in my wardrobe forever and I love this color I have a dark brown one and you go want to buy another one this summer because I just love a dragon diffusion I also wanted to share one other really random thing that I don't know if anyone cares about I have got back in to using my big agenda this is the big Louis Vuitton it's like basically the Filofax A5 so this is the Louis Vuitton GM one anyway besides the point I've had this for a while didn't really use it and then I was like oh maybe I'll sell it blah, blah, blah. didn't do it because I was like oh I'm never gonna get it because all the prices all these things are getting really quite ridiculous so I thought I'd show you some inserts if you have one of these I'll show you too much of my life so you can have these sort of inserts can we see it says things like project planner and all these sort of little inserts i love this clean aesthetic because you know sometimes you try to go find other inserts and you can never find something just clean chic minimal and then you can use your colors and your craziness in it like i love to use colors and stuff so and as you can see i like crazy things in my palette fact so like this i'm gonna link up the shop below just in case anyone's looking for any organizing off their little to-do lists etc because you know I like a simple thing like that because then I can use my doggy stickers that I was given by my parents when they were last year. How cute these are. These are doggy stickers. I am a grown-up I promise. The longest favorites of all time but because I hadn't seen you guys in so long I wanted to share everything with you. So leave me a comment down below let me know what you like. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join this little nook and Please let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see from me. I've missed you guys and you will see more of me. And take care. Have a lovely summer. And see you soon. Bye.